This week, it's an absolute off-road extravaganza. We've got highlights from the CF Moto Customer Drive Weekend. We're hitting the muddy gullies and rocky hills of the Wild Dog Winch Challenge. But first up, we still have to conquer Jackhammer. It's already broken a CV. We were all a little bit nervous. Oh, I can't, I can't. The carbon Amarok, we were all it's a little bit nervous. Look, it's already broken a CV just doing a tame track. We're going to drag it up this really crazy track. You probably wouldn't normally carry two CVs, so after doing one, you'd be going, well, I need to get home. He's got the family here as well. I had spent a lot of time looking at the track and going, I think I'm pretty clear on what line I need to take on this to get the Amarok up. It probably picked the best line of the day. Out of all the obstacles it did, it ate into the hardest one, the best, and outperformed all the other cars there. We don't understand it, it logic wasn't there. Just at the very last stage. Oh, I can't, I can't. I'm stuck on this stump. I reckon with another run, if he wasn't nervous about breaking the CV, he would have done that section, no dramas. Beautiful. Biggest challenge was this boulder on the left. You'd get halfway up it, and then the car would actually get hung up on a sidestep. It was a bit of a pivot. If you gave it more juice, it actually starts spinning off the cliff face. What are we doing? Pointing from there. All right, sweet. Did we break anything? No. All right, good. I just followed Simon's direction. I couldn't see where I was going. Ruben was saying, give it the boot here, stop, go, back. I mean, eventually they winched me out as well. First time winching. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> out of all the vehicles that tackled this track, Cooney did some amazing driving. Just wait till you see the footage, you'll be surprised to see it. And that was a real eye-opener, just how capable those little buggies are. Sprayed rocks and dust everywhere. Got a cameraman. And this is all going on as I'm driving around the corner to come up myself. Lucky last, never lucky. You have mastered everything at your difference. I haven't mastered this yet. He was like, this is the last challenge for the day. I'm going to do something special. He took a pretty non-traditional line. He got the driver's side up on the rocks early. Flexing up, wheels up in the air and everything. It was absolutely amazing to see him drive this up. Yes! <laughs> then it was the motorbike's turn. Lincoln's just ridden straight up there. Then it was Rib cracking up the hill. And if that rock wasn't there, he would have ridden straight off the edge of that cliff. Fucking that rock was there, buddy. <laughs> oh, he, was there. <laughs> he was just on another lap. We had to battle out about another four or five k's as the sun was setting. That drive was absolutely spectacular. Probably my favourite part of the day. Got to see everything from the tunnel in the trees to a rainforest looking section. He just does have a look at that, mate. Yeah, it's a long trip down there, isn't it? Please help me! Please! Oh! Left arm. <laughs> <laughs> The guys must have had a pretty big day. I know they had a lot of winching. We waited around most of the day, my partner and I. We went and collected about three or four ute loads of firewood, got the camp ready while the brisket was cooking. The caravans are very versatile because they come with slides. Wayne had actually taken the fridge out and he brought along his smoker. Wayne had stayed back at camp all day and he cooked the most beautiful tasting brisket and chicken wings I have ever had. Five star food out in the bush, it was amazing. You're my favourite person and I'm sitting now. <laughs> Very juicy. Once everyone was eating, there was absolute silence. That's how good it was. Well, MDC is renowned to have their dance comps. <laughs> Simon's truck, the two MDC cars, and the Jeep with the Eco X gear pumping music. Quite interesting, especially when you see the boss boogieing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. 
we got really jiggy with it. I was pulling some moves there that I wouldn't want anyone to see. Josh from the Four Wheel Drive TV film crew doing some Michael Jackson moves. I definitely wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> it was nice and warm by the fire. We all got to have a beer, got to watch Ruben twerk Simon, have a chat and get to meet everyone on a better level. Here at TJ's CF Moto drive event this weekend. We decided to check out a few of the buggies and nice to hang out with the locals, see some of the rigs, chat with all of the team here. My name's Bob Walters, I'm the New South Wales ACT area manager for CF Moto. And my name's Mick Crossland, I'm the owner, proprietor from Western Sydney CF Moto dealership in Sydney. We've picked this location as a corporate event and it's really not about a demo day as such, it's about rewarding customers who have purchased our products. They can come and use the park, bring your UTV, your ATV and your kids and have a good weekend. We had a you know, great trip with the Simon and my buggy with another four drive. But now this time I can chase other buggies. I can you know, beat them up. So buggy has a normal mode and a sports mode. When I'm touching the sports mode, way totally different. More power than it. That was awesome. We're really in the middle of nowhere here. It really is a wilderness. <laughs> it's pretty central located between Newcastle, Sydney, and Mudgee, so it's sort of right in the middle there. You've got the name TJ's obviously because it's Tanya and Jamie, or Tarzan and Jane, as I like to say, it's all about. We are different to other parts. You're not crammed in, yep. everything's spaced out. Yep. It's a yeah, beautiful area. If you want a peace and quiet, come out here. Good example is now there's all these buggies hooting around and you can't hear nothing. This sort of park caters for everything. Thank you. I think you can even bring your dogs out here, I believe. <laughs> hey, you dirty dogs. Click the like button below and make sure you subscribe. Romeo, yeah, our dog, which is the manager. Yep, yeah, if complaints so if there's any so. complaints, you go to the manager, but we don't get any complaints. No. <laughs> you want to play dead? <laughs> <laughs> we often do events. This weekend we're having a buggy muster. We're having a few buggy games, give away a few prizes, have a bit of fun. Oh no, go down! It's more like an adventure every time you come here. Come yeah. and check us out, guys, you'll love it. Sports side by sides, we've got the 950 and 1000cc. Our farming UTVs, we've got a 600 and we've got a 1000cc UTV. This is our U1000 Hunter Edition. So a 1000cc V-twin petrol engine, mated to a Canadian CV tech transmission with high and low range, as well as two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive and diff lock. This model, the Hunt Edition, as you can see, it's got a full bar kit on the front, bar kit across the nose, bar kits on the side for protection. And the Hunt Edition has these rear bars as well. Come standard with a tow hitch and tow bar, sway bars, front and rear, aluminium AR guards to protect your A-arms and your CV boots. You've got gas-assisted tilt tray with a lever both sides so it can be accessed both sides. And the other big feature with the Hunt Edition is it does have the full camo paintwork. You looking to buy one soon now? <laughs> <laughs> well look, we're always looking for new toys. It's been great to actually look and touch and feel and get some experience with the buggies. We're pretty keen to follow up at some point when we've got the space to actually use one. That'd be great. I want to say a massive shout out to TJ's for helping us pull this together. TJ's Forby Park is a cracker spot, eh? We've only seen a snippet of it in this time. It is ginormous. If you haven't been here before, I'd highly recommend coming. It's really appreciated for TJ's for by, especially Jamie and Tanya. Thank you very much for organizing this event. The owners are very welcoming. They cooked us some food and they cooked the crew some food. 
I've had the best couple of days with a whole bunch of new people. The park really turned it on and I can't wait to come back here. <laughs> My heart stopped there for a sec. <laughs> it was great to have everyone out. Me and Tony have totally enjoyed putting it on for you guys. It's been great meeting everyone. See you next time. How you going guys? My name's Sam Reid, I'm from Mates on Tour. Today Simon's out on another adventure, but he's invited me along with the microphone to come show you guys Wild Dog 2023. I know the weather's looking pretty nice at the moment, but let me tell you, the last couple of nights, it is hard down. As you can tell by my outfit at the moment, the mud is absolutely insane out here. I'd like to take you guys along and show you the best Wild Dog experience. Let's go check it out. If you're not too familiar with wind challenges, it's a pretty awesome event. You've basically got some pretty highly modified cars, a lot of Nissan patrols, and some land cruisers. Basically, you've got a driver trying to get his car through the stage with a navigator running in and out, helping to either guide the driver through or when they get stuck, winch. It's pretty cool, a lot of high engine revving, a lot of mud flying. It's definitely well worth spectating. We rotate the stages around a little bit every year, so it gives the drivers and the teams and even the spectators a little bit of variety from what they'd normally see. We've had some cars that would hit 120 kilometres an hour at points. A couple of these winch bulls are good 45 metres long, and the car's actually hanging on the winch rope. It's great to see more interest in the sport. We've got good classes for people to get in and have a try. This new weekend warrior class which gives people a good opportunity to try the sport in something that's relatively sort of basic and set up. And then we go into the challenge class which is fairly well unrestricted in modifications that can be done on the vehicle. I've got cars here that are running fifteen and twenty thousand dollars worth of suspension under them. A lot of cars that are running ten and fifteen thousand dollar winches on them as well. So they do all of the big tracks whereas the weekend warrior cars sometimes pick around the big winches a lot of first timers out here so it's very interesting watching how they go. It's really key that the drivers and the navvies have great communication between themselves. So let's go meet the teams and see how they're going. Easy as you expected or is it a bit harder than you thought it might be? I've got to say it is pretty challenging, it's not for the faint hearted. Well we're here with Troy. Now Troy, I hear you're normally in the passenger seat, what's going on? You're out here spectating. I started the weekend racing here with Jason in the road safe car but had a bit of a shoulder injury so the navigators event and this body's not built for short course. Is it all going pretty well? Yeah, it's all going pretty smooth. I'm actually filling Navi for him. This is the first time I've ever spectated Wild Dog and I've gotten the chance to jump in at Navi. Seems like we're going to have a good afternoon and a good tomorrow, I reckon. You can't just put on this event without any help, so there's a lot of great volunteers out here today, all the marshals and officials. So let's go see them and find out how well their stages are running. You've just reconfigurated this course. It looks a lot harder at the moment, so how are they going with that? We've really made it a bit technical for them, so we've changed the whole track. They've got potentially two, three winches this time, but there's a real gnarly one to 90 degree winch. Those young fellas, fair credit to them. They're just giving it a crack and having fun. How's your day just going so far? It's been pretty interesting, buddy. All the different lines, different teams think outside the box. Has there been many penalties that you had to call? Definitely the main problem, the bunting. <laughs> they kill it. Absolutely <laughs> line it up and hit it. Been going for 20 odd years now. Started as pretty much guys with four wheel drives, almost racing in the bush, and then as time's progressed, developed into a sport where now instead of having a bush car that people are racing, they're all purpose built race cars. Organising this event is a huge effort. It's been a growing support and it's really easy to get into. We've got about 700 members combined with marshals and teams. There's a whole team of people that make this event happen. Really thank you to all the helpers. So for anyone that hasn't been to this kind of event, imagine a hill that you can barely walk up. We've got these guys winching up these hills with, in some cases, 35 horsepower winches. Big loud exhaust, huge horsepower engine. 
And then on the flip side of that, we've got some of these cars that are really basic setup. But just with driver skill and teamwork, they're actually keeping up there with the big boys. Let alone all the mud holes they have to go through. Yeah. <laughs> were a lot drier. Last night there was a lot of rain, so the mud's really picked up, so it's gotten hard to walk and harder for the Wind Challenge trucks to get through the races. The tracks today have been quite muddy and slippery. There's some huge winch walls that are really easily accessible. It's a little bit different each day, and the rain has certainly added to that. I know you're a Queenslander, so you're feeling the cold? 100%. I did not bring enough hoodies, and I brought six. Not acceptable. <laughs> this sport can be a little bit rough on cars. We've spent a lot more time this year clearing tree roots and things out of the way. The sport naturally is, and, and generally it's the drivers that are actually hardest on their cars, so there are a few cars with mechanical breakages. Cars running all pretty good at the moment. Thermo fan issue, um, swapped out some relays and now we're good to go, so yeah. So how's the car holding up? Yeah, haven't broken anything so far? Um, we've got a power steering box issue, but it's still holding up. You haven't broken anything yet, or you're having a few little dramas? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Brad's one of the marshals down here at Wild Dog. How's your stage sort of going so far? How are they coping with it all? Been going pretty good, man. We haven't had a rollover yet. Thank God for that. So as you might have seen today, we had a car that ended up on its lid. That car is surprisingly undamaged aside from the panels. All of the safety equipment work, harnesses and race seats in there and they've walked away unscathed. Each team generally a driver and a co-driver. The driver's a lucky guy that gets to sit in the car and yell orders through a cordless headset to the, the co-driver. I think that the drivers get more respect than the navvies, even though it should be the navvies, because the navvies are the ones who know the tracks and are the ones who do most of the exercise. <laughs> How are you finding communication-wise if you're navvying and stuff, he's doing a good job? He's doing a ripper job, but he goes, I am not training for an event if you want me to be in the passenger seat. So he does his best, he does what he can do, and um, yeah, he's doing a killer job. No lovers, tiffs, no arguing? Oh, a little bit, but when, you, when you're racing, you get this kind of stuff. You're always in each other's ear, like, and you know. Yeah. Nah, most of all, we're having fun. That's what it's all about, really, isn't it? Getting along, but yeah, you know, there's plenty of words. That's it, in the heat of it. How many wild dogs have you been at so far? This is my second. I've been out here marshalling and, and there's a great team of people here and that's what really makes these events real special. Yeah, so you'll definitely be back then? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. Been a great weekend here. We run another two races in the year, so if you want to come down, you really should. They're really fun and you'll get to see a lot of action. This is a really great event for spectating. It's probably one of the best wind challenges there is for spectating. I highly recommend coming down and checking it out. If you're interested, jump on Facebook, have a look at Wild Dog Wind Challenge, check out 4x4racing.com.au, follow along and keep an eye out for the next one. Well, that's it for all the big hills and all the winching and the bog holes. It's been an absolutely awesome weekend. Make sure you get your tickets next year, get down here. If you're thinking about competing, get on it early. Make sure you can get your car ready and get your entries in because it's an absolutely awesome weekend. Hopefully I'll see you guys out here next year. Waterproof. Oh. <laughs> that was a good one. Go. <laughs> well, let's see.
bloody cold! <laughs> <laughs> Family. I used to say I lived my life a quarter mile at a time. And I think that's why we were brothers. 